I am on the autism spectrum. I have cerebral palsy. I have Down syndrome. I am Antoine Smith's sister and caregiver. Antoine is uh, autistic. He's also blind in his left eye, minimal blind in his right eye. His disability does not define who he is. He is capable. He is able to be, he is able to love. I am proud that I have my college education from Wright State University. Math is one of my favorite subjects. I loved it. And I also am a very good speller. I can spell anything. I am majoring in psychology with a minor in neuroscience. When I bring Antoine to a doctor's appointment, I think people should recognize him. I love when people smile and have big expressions. I have a very hard time reading facial expressions, and so sometimes if someone is clipped or has a short response, they're not trying to be dismissive, but I feel dismissed. Sometimes it's a quick, the answers are quick, the responses are quick, and it shouldn't be that way, and it wouldn't be that way if he could talk, if he could sit down. Approaching someone where you're not sure whether it's whatever disability it might be is a lot. I think a lot of the work goes on before you even enter the room. Just trying to get an idea of, wow, what, what must it be like and how can I show up for this person? You always speak to the patient first no matter what. If you see that they are not understanding you, then talk to the caregiver. Approach the situation with an open mind. It's okay to, to talk to him and let him know that, hey, today is your visit. You know, is it okay if I touch you? Is it, if, is it okay if I approach you? For someone with autism, the more predictability, the more knowledge, the more mentally prepared we can be, the better. If I'm gonna see a nurse first, and then a resident, and then the doctor, and kind of tell me their names, and tell me um, what, what, what they're going to do. When people ask Carrie questions, she needs greater time to respond. And if she senses that you're not happy with her response, she's going to change it, because she wants to please you. He talks right to me, and he makes me understand everything that he's telling me and important information, and I try to hear him, really try to hear him. We are more alike than different. Some people with autism may stim, or some people may um, rock back and forth in their chair, or some people, like me, just m might not make good eye contact. There's always things that we're uncomfortable with in life, but if you can get beyond it, the gift you're gonna get back is much bigger. There's a light within all of us that connects all of us. And, you know, I feel like too often people don't see my brother's light. I feel very happy when I'm included. I feel so good about it. When a caregiver responds with empathy and kindness, it makes me feel relieved. And it's okay for Antoine to continue to be who he is. <laughs> Embracing people with disabilities is very important because when we embrace someone, we are investing in them, we are supporting them, and that's what I want people to do to me.